Okay. Oh, oh God, it hurts to stare like that. <laughs> My eyeballs! <laughs> All right, lads. Today, we're going to be talking about the differences between living in America and living in England. I speak to you as somebody who is currently awaiting their uh, work permit green card situation to arrive, but I have noticed some differences uh, between these two marvelous, marvelous places during the time I have been here. And let me tell you, the difference is uh. real. The first thing you'll notice, even though it's very silly for me to mention, and this is super obvious, is accent. Accent is a thing. I don't really know why accents are a thing. I mean, I guess it's just to do with the people who congregated there kind of speaking in a similar way. Maybe I I don't know why the accents are different. Like for example, okay, so in California the accents are like more slow and like they're kind of they're more like this. Whereas like in New York they talk really fast and I'm not going to try and do a New York accent because I will have a stroke. Over here this can be a bit of an issue because uh, the accent thing because I like to go to Chipotle a lot. Me and my wife, we love going to Chipotle. It's our fave. We go there and I want to order a burrito. A burrito. <laughs> You'd think this was easy. You'd think this was like, hi, can I have a burrito, please? But it gets lost. It gets lost. It really does. Oh, God. Oh, my eyes are getting attacked by the American burrito gods. Oh. Oh, the Mexicans? I don't know, someone's attacking my eyes. Maybe I just have something in my eye. Why is it- why do I have to make things so personal? So I want to get a burrito, but the thing is everyone else gets a burrito. It's a burrito. It's not a burrito. Don't say burrito, you'll get ignored. Well, actually, you won't get ignored, you'll just get a- What? Like, you'll just get that kind of- <laughs> Not as rude, but you'll get that kind of treatment. In addition, or kind of segueing off of ordering things, tipping in America is God. You have to do it or you're a C word. That word is super bad in America too. You can't say the C word. Chickens, you ask? No, not chickens. It's it's the one for Fanny, but different. And Fanny has a different meaning too. Oh, it's so confusing. In England, Fanny means your front bum. In America, it means your bum bum, bum bum. You have got to tip your service workers. You just have to, you have to. And in England, it's like, you. we do tip, like we do tip, um, but it's like, you're not a huge dick if you don't. And I think it's to do with the fact that like, people whose job kind of has a tip involved in it don't get paid as much because the tips go to like helping that, to like, you know, part of their wage sort of deal. Like waitresses and stuff, their like tips are like a big deal. Uh, so tipping is important there and tipping your hairdresser as well is important. You do that in England too, but it's just like, you fucking do it here or you get lynched and pooed on. In America, you can't just cross the road. You can't. It's jaywalking. You've got to cross at a little crosswalk or suffer the full force of the Pentagon. Not really, people jaywalk all the time, but it's a term for it, jaywalk. Jaywalk. It's like a bird. It's called, you know, jaybird, I don't know. Is that even a bird? <laughs> Erroneous information. <laughs> Funny. If you see a clear spot in the road, St it's still illegal to cross it. If the police guy sees you, he's gonna be like, Phew. I don't think he'll shoot you, but I know of people who've gotten a ticket. A ticket, oh my God, for jaywalking. <laughs> it's hilarious, isn't it? In England, we jaywalk all the time, basically. Honestly, I, I like that there are so many crossings in America, but I get stressed out by the traffic lights. So because there are so many crosswalks, so many intersections, at least in California, you'll, you'll, you'll be walking, you'll be walking to try and cross the road, right? Walking towards the end of the, the fucking curb and then, um, you'll see the thingy and you'll see the countdown ahead of you. They have countdowns. They don't just have like the little green man and the red man. We just have the little red man and the green man. Do we have a yellow man? I don't think we do. That's racist. The red man's like, mm. and the green man's like, hey. And they, they have, they have a white man. I think they just have a white man actually. Where I am, they just have a white man. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> it's so terrible. But there, there'll be a, a countdown and they go from anywhere from like, 30 seconds down in the more extreme, like, crosswalks. The extreme crosswalk! Or they'll be like 10 seconds, or they'll be like 5 seconds. Fucking mental crosswalks. Ridiculous. In general, or at least where I am, which is near San Francisco, people seem to be much friendlier than they are in England. But it depends on where you go, I think. I think that's a very big part of, of that. Because in San Francisco, everyone is so nice. Of course, it's, it's recently become legal to, like, like gay marriage is recognized everywhere in America now, but over here like the friendliness and tolerance feels so Like I don't know. I feel like it's really there 
Like, when me and my wife would walk around, we'd, just, we'd get complimented by people. Random bloody people. Just nice. People would just be nice. They're just nicer. In England, if you walk around, at least where, I'm, where, I, where I live, walk around holding hands, some fucking chav will roll down the window and go, GAY! Out the window as if you don't realise. Wait, am I gay? Overall, Americans feel more... More friendly and more, you know, more wacky, I think. Which brings me to my next point, is that the humour is a difference. There is a real difference. I know there is, like, this thing with, like, British comedy. Um, like, that's a thing. You know, that's a thing, British comedy. Uh, but the humour is seriously different. Not in any crazy, crazy, like, you just can't laugh at the same things kind of way. But it is different. So in America, it's like, the humour is not as harsh but it is sarcastic. And I'll notice it after having talked with some American people, and then I'll talk to like some English people. I will bounce off much easier with the English people because we all kind of get what we're on about sort of thing. I don't know exactly what the difference is because, because there can be harsh humor over here. There can be harsh humor over here, but I don't really know how to, how to explain it. I think English humor is more verbose. I think it's more verbose in general and American humor feels more like I ordered a coffee and the waitress spilled it on me I had a job interview that day Aw, oh, jeez <laughs> Sorry, I don't know, <laughs> that wasn't funny But it feels more like that but not as, not as stupid and unfunny Plus, everyone here, if you are an English person BE PREPARED FOR THE COLONIES JOKES BECAUSE America learns more about it than we do in school. I don't know why, but they do. <laughs> like, everyone here is like, Oh, you're British! The colonies, right? <laughs> and I'm like, I honestly don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> and I should know, I should know. But, you know, I, I know more about it now, having moved to America, than I ever did having lived in England all my life. So, there are a bunch of reasons and ways and shapes and forms that the US of A is different to England, different to the United Kingdom in general. Largely everyone operates kind of the same. There's no crushing culture shock or whatever like that. Like if you go to somewhere like Thailand or or Philippines or something where everything is different and weird. Folks, I do hope you have enjoyed today's video. Feel free to tell me about times that you have noticed differences in your culture to other people's culture and how that made you feel and how how you went about those differences. If you haven't gone anywhere where you've seen different cultures or anything like that, tell me about a culture that you'd like to learn about. Maybe that, maybe a place you'd like to visit in particular. Yes! Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope you enjoyed. Take care of yourselves and I will see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.